The other day I posted a video where I was having a conversation with my students on the farm talking about soilless and soy-based farming. And somebody attacked me, not really attacked, he gave his opinion that I am speaking out of ignorance that soilless farming is better than soy-based farming. So, sincerely, I do not understand the hype around soilless farming because the average Nigerian, they are enthused by aesthetics. Anything when we they do, I won't do them, they make sense. I think what we fail to understand is there's a, there's a reason for each of these decisions that these Westerners make. Okay, you see somebody doing hydroponics or soilless, soybeans, soilless farming and you are, you are enthused. Okay, I want to replicate it in our country. It does not work that way. See, I'm saying this now as an experienced person that has practiced both soilless farming and soil-based farming. Soil-based soil -based farming is still the smartest and most profitable option of farming in Nigeria. Take it anywhere. First of all, soil-based farming is cheaper. You are not buying any cocoa peats. See, we are using the soil. This is the soil. You are not buying cocoa peats. You are not buying potting soil. You are not buying perlite, vermic. You are not buying all of those things. You know they buy any of those things. Yet, it is... You know the cost of cocoa peats, the cost of grow bags, straw, and the likes? It's expensive, but if you are doing soy-based, fine, it's okay. Also, soy-based farming is... Our soil is forgiving. Our soil is forgiving. So, if there's an issue with your production, the soil can act as a buffer. But if you are doing soilless farming, one small mistake with nutrient management, you all don't finish. There are so many benefits, in short. Go and ask. People always make emphasis on Israel and Netherlands. Go and ask them why they are doing soilless farming. They do not have the kind of land we have. They do not have the kind of soil we have. Our soil is amendable. Our soil is workable. But we get this soil. We know they utilize this soil. We are always making comparison. We just see them. And first of all, soilless farming needs sound technical knowledge. You cannot just wake up and go and watch one YouTube video and decide to say I'm a soil, soil, soilless farmer. You have to have those technical knowledge. It is sophisticated. My people, if you have good soil, you can amend your soil. Do your soil test. Amend your soil. Fortify the soil. Mulch your soil. Use your soil to farm. Leave all of the aesthetic. You are not here for aesthetic. You are here to produce. You are here to feed the nation. You are here to increase your profits. Leave aesthetic. If you want farm, do farming. Look at our production. See? A single plant sometimes. This is a single plant. Look at production. We've harvested them. See production is still producing. We get an average of 30 fruits per plant that weighs 200 kg, 250 grams. Look at this now. This is 250 grams like this. Or even 300. 